Hey, 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 how are you today? I am good. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm doing good. Listen, how you doing? You know, that's, that's an old homage to my Aunt Wendy, honey. I love me some Aunt Wendy. I know. We miss Wendy. We miss <laughs> Wendy right now. Don't we? Girl, without, listen, with everything going on, we definitely miss when <laughs> okay well but we're we're not here for that today but we're gonna do <laughs> some other tea um mm -hmm. so if you want to go ahead and just let everybody know your name so hi my name is shay mac yes yeah, shay, 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 shay mac can i call you shay shay is that okay I'm always, listen, I'm always trying to get somebody a nickname that's just <laughs> That's one of my other um, other names, Shay Shay. Oh, okay, okay. So it's Shay Mac, and then when when you is that your added which, which personality is Shay Shay? Shay, that's my uh brunch. Shay Shay <laughs> is uh, brunch of mimosas. That's Shay. Shay. <laughs> <laughs> we all love a good look a little good little mimosa every now and again and now and again mm -hmm. well um i'm glad to have you on shay mac and um you know i've been wanting to link up with you for quite some time um you and i kind of spoke and met through instagram and i just I, I really dug the things that you're doing you know all of your uh compliment uh accomplishments oh look at me what's going on i ain't had no mimosa not yet so <laughs> you might need one <laughs> all right all right so we're gonna get into all of that this evening you know let the people know what you do how they can reach out to you all that good stuff i want to let everybody know i thank you and appreciate you guys for tuning in to sonoria's best kept secret podcast make sure that you guys continue the support by liking sharing please leave a girl a comment it's nothing wrong with that say hey to your girl hey you know it's okay we we want all the love or all the smoke it don't matter you know we get for it <laughs> But anyways, um, so Shay, go ahead and let the people know what it is that you do and how you're a part of this great entertainment industry of ours. Okay, well, first off, hold on, I'm also I'm a a, a dog mom too. Oh, so me I got too. somebody I in who is <laughs> making a lot of racket, so I'm gonna yes. put. I'm listen. I'm the same. I just put my baby in the room. I was like, you gotta go to listen. And he jumped right in my bed and laid down like, girl. He was he, he, was like, quiet at first. <laughs> he was quiet at first so i thought we were good but then it got a little lit real quick so <laughs> all right so uh yeah so a little bit about me so uh yes i'm shay mack i'm an actress i'm a director i'm an acting coach and i run a self-taping service right here in atlanta georgia atl shawty so are are you always been an at like are you in what they call an at alien <laughs> Technically, no. I'm originally from Rochester, New York, but I moved down here. Some me, I've been in Atlanta longer than I've been in Rochester. Gotcha. So. Somebody told me that I'm a peach without the pit. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take yes, it. Yes. I actually have family that's from Rochester, uh, New York. They kind of migrated now to uh, Maryland. But mm -hmm. yeah, we have family there. So girl, you might you might be my cousin or my uncle. Be cousin. We might be. <laughs> <laughs> you know how that be. <laughs> might be cousin. Yes, yes. So okay, you say you have a self-taping service. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Like how did you get started? How long you've been in uh business now? Mm -hmm. So um a self-taping service basically um with actors, you know, we get auditions. And you know, nowadays instead of like going to a casting director and auditioning in front of them, they have us record it, we film it ourselves, mm -hmm. and then we send it to them. So my job, my business is I tape actors, I read with them the scene, um, I edit it. I upload it and send it in. And I also coach throughout the scene as well to get okay. it right, get, get them tight. So everybody who I take, we sending out some good, some good tips. Exactly. I'm <laughs> like, fall back worthy or book worthy, either one. Yes. Know? Well, because yeah, you got to put your stamp on it, right? So you got to make sure it is what it is. So listen, so how long have you been doing that now? Um, this I started like officially like a business like 2016, I believe. It was okay. 2016. Mm -hmm. So how did you... Taping myself, uh, taping my friends, and then it just grow, you know, over time and then word of mouth and stuff like that. So 
Next thing, I, I got a business. <laughs> that's good. But that's that's great because it's kind of like you know you're still able to hustle within your hustle. You know what right. I mean? So right, right. you want multiple streams, and this was just a mm -hmm. great way to do so. And uh, you know, it looks like everything's working out well for you. I see you. You know your logo and everything in the bag. I know that's right. Represent yeah. you at all times. <laughs> I know that's right. <laughs> I've been working all day. Yes, yes. So this is a nice little break for me. <laughs> okay, good, good. Well, we're able, like I said, we're able to do this. So, um, you said you kind of got into it from taping yourself, and then you know, kind of taping friends, and it kind of grew from there. And you two yourself are an actress. Yes, I am. And some people are like, oh, you act as well? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> it's kind of why I get what's going on here. You know what I mean? I'm an actress too. So, um, and I've also uh, been coaching for years um, and working with actors. So, you know, I combine the two and it's something that I love. Like, I don't know what else I will be doing that I can do every day, all day. You know what I mean? And, not and have that's how you know you're meant to be doing this. Because if you can't think of anything else that you would be doing, it's only <laughs> right that you're doing what you're doing. <laughs> right. I tried the nine to five. <laughs> yes. Uh, Look, I'm with you there. Oh, girl. Ooh. Mm -hmm. No, 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 no. Like, I'm like, <laughs> I mean, you know. I'm like, I, I got to get out of here. Right, right, right. <laughs> I, I did it. You know, you know, you get your first job, you're excited and blah, blah, blah. And then after a while, you're like, um, no, this one, this is not for me. You want me to do, huh? nah, I'm good. Let me, let me figure something out. <laughs> I'm a creative. I don't belong here. <laughs> yes. And I feel that way because I know, I do know a lot of uh, creatives or people within the artistry space who do still, you know, have a nine to five or, you know, a lot, some of them have businesses, but most of them have nine to fives. And that's what they say. It kind of stifles their creativity. Yeah. Do, you, do you get that when you're working with different artists or different, um, you know, individuals regarding letting and evolving themselves within this craft? Um, you, you know, sometimes working with other actors, like not on my end, but on, on their end, you know, like you said, other people do have jobs and stuff like that. So I know that it is a struggle and, and you know, being having an experience that myself, you know, it's a struggle kind of, especially you get an audition or if you book a role, you know, you got to get off of work and hope you can use your sick time or your vacation time or when can you learn your lines because you've been working all day, you know, that sort of thing. You got to try your best to make it work. So, yeah, I mean, it, it can become a headache, you know, because you know what you really want to do and where you really want to be, you know. I think that's what anything, if you feel that, and that's why I think so many people are like, you know, they get um, stagnant or unhappy because it's like, you know, you, you, you have a passion for one thing, but it's like, how am I ever going to get to that thing? And I keep having to do this thing. You know what I mean? What is some advice that maybe you can give to others to really just like, I guess, break through and get to what they're trying to get to? If this is, if artistry or being an actor is their, their dream, their goal, are there any tips that you can provide for them today? Quit, quit that job. No, nah. oh. <laughs> no, I would say definitely, you know, take steps to leaving that job, but make a plan, get a, get a plan in order. Like I know when I first quit my job, I was just starting self-taping as well as I was Ubering. Uber oh, okay. just became real high. And I was like, well, if I could do both, you know, I can afford life, you know, mm -hmm. <laughs> and just slowly kind of transition over, you know, you book and rolls, you get paid, you know, like, like that sort of thing. But I mean, everybody's different, but you got to make it make sense for you because right. you, you have to, of course, sustain, you have to, you have to live. But then you also have this creative part of you that's like eating away. You want to be able to do it. Give us a tree. Give us a tree. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Make time. Make time. I feel like you, we all can make time for what we want. You know, working a nine to five can be draining. It can be hard. It can be rough. But if you could give eight hours to these people, you could give a couple hours to yourself. You know yeah. what I mean? And make it okay. make it make sense. Exactly. And I think that's very true because I, I ha and I'm trying to, I don't remember and I don't want to say the wrong name, but I recall this one um, entrepreneur who said, you know, you might work a nine to five, but you better from five to nine work on you. You know what I mean? Give yourself some time because if you do a little bit each day, it's less that you have to do to get to where you're trying to go. So practice, mm -hmm. practice, 
uh, put yourself out there, rehearse, whatever you got to do to prepare you for that next move, do it. But we don't want to say, you know, I know you were joking, but you know, you don't want to say, hey, quit. Because listen, like you said, everybody's uh, life or path is different. So what may work for you may not necessarily work for me and vice versa. But we have to give our ourselves that opportunity, that chance to grow and get to where we're trying to go. So I definitely uh, agree with all, all of that. <laughs> yes. So tell me a little bit about your, um, your acting career. Like, how did you get started in acting? Um, you know, have you always been into, you know, television or film? Like, what is, what is your niche? Got you. So I started off doing theater okay. um, from high school. Oh. Did I do any theater? I don't think I did any theater in middle school. I'm getting okay. old now. I don't even remember. But definitely high school plays and stuff like that. Um, I went to college. I went to Spelman. Okay. Yes, girl. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> I love uh, it. Major in theater there. And I just I, I just I had always been a, a, a theater kid. And um, it wasn't until... After I graduated, Atlanta started getting, uh, you know, a little bit more popping with the uh, film and television scene. So um, I had a production company, okay. um, myself and a friend of mine, we had a production company back in the day where we used to produce stage plays. Okay. Uh, yeah, we did. It was a lot of theater going on. Okay. And then, um, when the, the business started kind of booming and picking up here with film and television, which was, I think, around... 2015 is when I transferred over and got an agent and started getting into film and television. Got it. Okay. Okay. So um, l let me ask you this, because was it a transition for you, like from coming from, you know, theater, the stage, and now I'm going to be in these different, you know, productions, whether, you know, commercials or movies or whatever, whatever it may be. Yeah, it was a, it was a little transition. I think theater prepared me. Gotcha. For everything that I'm doing now um it's I mean it's a, it's a difference you know one is live on stage and you know you got to be on point where the other one is you have to be on point but it's just it's just so much different like you know you got your script you look at your lines <laughs> right quick like, no, all right action <laughs> get you know whatever we're at stage you on that stage for an hour and a half, two hours, and you you better keep that thing going. You better keep it going. Yes, yes, yes. But that, right. it definitely prepares you. Uh, theater is a, a a great workout and preparation for film and television. Look, that's a great word to use. Workout. That is so true because you know, in between, you're doing the costume changes or you're doing the scene changes or whatever it may be, and it's like you're not only working out physically. But even your mental to stay on track and to stay on target and, oh, I don't want to miss that line. And, you know, it's so much that goes into the whole psyche of it all because you're thinking all this stuff to yourself. But at the same time, you're trying to give your, you know, your best performance. And, you know, like I, I think I mentioned this with uh, someone else I was speaking with before. And I was just saying, you know, the audience doesn't know when you miss a beat, but, you know. But you have to try to, you know, recover for that so that they don't even know that you've missed the step. You know what I mean? You just have to keep it flowing, keep it going. So that's where yeah. improv, improv come into play. Yeah. And also learning to, you know, trust your scene partner and, you know, like you said, keep the show going and not, you know, dropping the ball. Like you kind of give each other that eye, like, girl, I forgot, you know. <laughs> <laughs> just say the next line, keep it yeah. going. You yes. know, okay, yeah, we missed that one, but keep it going. Yeah, get to keep the it next. going. Keep yes. it going. Yes. Yeah. Major, so, major difference. Yes, yes. So let me ask you this. So, you know, just going back to what you were saying about, you know, scene partners, are there any kind of um scenes that you've done where you had to where you felt, I don't know, nervous or you know, just felt like, oh, maybe I'm not gonna, you know, be able to land that the way I would like. And you know, being able to bounce off that energy from your partner, it was just like Hey, we got this. Mm -hmm. Um, there has never been a time where I didn't think I was gonna do great, but I'm, all, I'm always nervous. I mean, the nerves. My back always got that one bead of sweat dripping down it. Like I'm like, all right, here we go. You know, that's the the nerves are always there, but you know, when the lights go up, it's like we gotta do this thing. You know, now I, I've worked with 
I've had seen partners who may have had a little struggle a little bit, but you know, you kind of bring them like, okay, let's, you know, especially with film and television, it's easier to between takes like, hey, let's talk about this now. Right. <laughs> On the scene, you suppose I, I was doing a scene um some years ago in this with this film and this guy like we're supposed to be high school sweethearts and now we're married. Mm -hmm. We were kind of doing like this flashback. We kind of met. We're supposed to be flirting, and he was kind of being you know a little. And office, I'm like, if maybe you know, maybe he hadn't <laughs> got himself together that day. I, oh, I think he was <laughs> nervous too. You know, show. It's like you got to show show some affection, sir. You yeah. know, what I mean? get over here. What is it, Mortal Kombat? Get over here. Get over here. I'm like, put your arm around me, something. You know, it's okay. Relax. I'm okay with it. We cool. But we talked about it. We worked. We worked it. I worked through it. We were able to show, you know, that connection there. Good, good. Let me ask you this: Can you tell us some of the, um, I guess, uh, different projects that you've been uh, a part of, and like what had where you kind of started as far as you know, once you transition into film or in television? Mm -hmm. Um, well, the, okay, we could, I think my very first project was Tyler Perry, for better or worse. I think that was my very first one. I'm getting it mixed up with Sleepy Hollow, because I did Sleepy Hollow too, but I think I booked them like around the same month, but I think Tyler Perry was first. I think he was first. And it's funny, because you know, people always say, you live in Atlanta, work with Tyler Perry. It's like, Listen, I'm still trying to get that girl. I've been, I have this. Let, let me. I'm not to interrupt you, but you know, we we, we cousins on our auntie cousin brother, so, you know. But um, <laughs> my one cousin, right? Because it's always gonna be that one family member that's like, "Well, I ain't seen you do this, so I ain't," you know. And it's like, listen, baby, do you know ever every actor, actress, ma whatever in the industry? Neither do I. But yeah, <laughs> we would love to work with old good old TP, Mister TP. Yes, I want to. But um, he's always like, well, um, you don't submit to Tyler Perry. I'm like, yes, I have been submitting, but Tyler, <laughs> he, he just ain't seen me yet. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. <laughs> it's coming. It's, it's, it's crazy. That was my, at first I was like, I can't just call up Tyler Perry. He can't just pop up there. So when I booked it, you know, some of my family and friends were like, he told you. And I'm like, y'all make me <laughs> Um, so that was like uh, he was one of my um uh, one of my first gigs. Um, I think one of my most major projects was Doom Patrol, um, a DC comic show which is on HBO. Uh, a lot of TV shows and a few movies. <laughs> I think yeah. I saw something. What did you do? Was it for the one of my favorite shows, The Walking Dead? Was that one of them? I was a zombie. No, I'm just playing. I wasn't on The Walking Dead. <laughs> I wasn't on the walking dead. I, I was walking dead. Did you put the skin or something that I was looking at? It was something I was looking at. And I'm like, oh, that was that's one of my shows. Well, when it was, you know. It was, uh, on. Okay. I, I would love to be on on, uh, on the walking dead, but I think my hips, I don't think we could have a zombie with thick hips. I be, you know, I'm like, come on, how I, how do I get in? Yeah. But listen, if you was already alive and then you became an undead, then that, you know, it's okay to swiggle them a little bit. Walking Dead people, they could they could be zombies that stick. Come on, we're gonna put it out there. Let's just put it out there. It's a whole bunch of Walking Dead franchises. I just want to be a zombie. Oh, That's it. I don't even need no speaking lines. I just want to be out there. Be. Oh my god, that's so funny. Can you tell us a little bit about um your character in Doomsday? Uh, Doom Patrol. I'm sorry, Doom. Patrol. Girl, yeah. that's a movie too, though. Doomsday. I'm sorry. That's scary. Doom Patrol. I'm sorry. Yes. 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 That sounds yes. a, little, a little scary, but um, no. Um, Doom Patrol. I play a character, Driller Bill, and um, Driller Bill is one of the many uh, personalities of one of the lead characters named Jane. So she has like a multiple split personality disorder. So she has like all of these different personalities. But they actually have actual people playing each exactly. personality. Okay. It's a cool show. I mean, you know, people who are into DC yeah. comics, yeah. action comedy, definitely adult. Right. Um, but um, it was a cool show. It was fun to work on. I did like ten episodes. It was cool. Yes, that sounds like. I was working on that show. Everybody was cool. Everybody was pretty. Yes, cool. Yes, yes. So, do you kind of keep in contact with uh, you know different actors or artists that you you know been a part of different productions with? 
Mm -hmm. Sometimes when I can, because sometimes people are living, you know, on different states and stuff like that. So, you know, but yeah, some of us, you know, still link up, have lunch or uh, talk on social media, of course. Yes. And that's, that's what I really love about social media is the connections. You know yeah. what I mean? Whether you meet people today and you're able to continue that interaction throughout or if, let's like, say, you haven't seen someone in years and then, you know, you right. get to see him and it's like, hey, girl. Like, oh my God, I remember you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. So tell me a little bit, like, um, are you a family woman? Like, um, are there any, and I don't want to say family is a conflict, but we do know sometimes family can be a conflict. Has there ever been a time where like, I don't know, you know, with family where they felt as though, mm, um, that Shay, no, girl, that's not your path. Or, you know what I mean? Like, um, has anyone ever tried to make you feel as though, hey, don't don't go be an actress, go be a nurse or you know what I mean? Like anything like that? Um, no, my family, I know when I was going to school and uh, my mom is like, well, you major in theater, but like what you going to minor in? I'm like, theater, because I don't need a minor. I don't need a backup. This is what I'm going to do. And she's like, OK, you know, <laughs> Well, no, no one, no one ever like, you know, discouraged me or say you need to do this or you need to do that. I think I have pretty much had a really good support system. Now, behind my back where they probably were and talking about me, probably. <laughs> I know y'all was talking about me behind my back, but <laughs> when in my face, they were so encouraging. Yeah. <laughs> y'all need to be leading me, praying for me. But <laughs> after I started booking, then everybody was cool. It was pretty yes. cool. Was and cool. that's what I was gonna yes, that is so true. So has there anything has there been anything that maybe your mom you was just like so not saying that like hey in your face or anything, but just kind of mm -hmm. like I'm just so excited to have her a part of this, you know what I mean? So that she can see this is what I'm doing, you know. That yeah. that theater major paid off, mom. <laughs> <laughs> right. And see, my mom is a writer, and so oh. that I love that she is um you know kind of in it a little bit That's but I really right. want her to get in it a little more because she's very talented so I always try to tell her like oh look what this writer did or look how this writer where this writer is now like you know you can do it and you know it's a I mean it's a platform like <laughs> for everybody it's like you can come out here and, and really do it and and blow up with it and really get your works out there right yes and so you're trying to kind of encouraging her now like hey yeah. I'm I've done this now. So now, mom, I want you to do, you know, get really get in it the way I think you right. should. Yeah. Right. Okay. So she right now, she's like, I'm working on the script. I'm going to be sending it to you. So I'm like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> that's something that you guys can really do together. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah that's awesome. Yeah. When I was doing um, plays back in like uh, 2009, 2008, somewhere in there, a couple of her plays we produced. Yeah. Oh, that's what's up. Yeah. She actually won Best Writer for one of her plays. Mm -hmm. Shout out to my mama. You just keep doing it. Yes, mommy. <laughs> yes. And so that's kind of where you got your creative streak from then, your mom. Yeah, probably. Okay. She'll, she'll probably say it came from her. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's good. So now, you know how some people like, you know, like you say, your mom's a writer. Um, was there any other like artists within the family or kind of, you know, when you were a kid coming up that made you want to think about theater or can, what made you, uh, you know, originally consider going into the artistry? Oh, uh, you know what? This, uh, there was no one in particular, okay. no one like specific, like um, that was like in, in my life. Um, I think it was just from maybe watching TV and seeing other actors um, who I'm like, oh, OK. But I kind of always felt like I was going to do this. Like, I just always like, you know, it's like when you're going around the classroom, what do you want to be when you grow up? I'm, you know, doctor, lawyer, fireman, actress. <laughs> I don't know. It just always, always have been. Always set with your spirit, set on your spirit. Mm -hmm. That's that's yeah. what's up. And that's why I like. I love to see when people are actually able, you know, to live out their dreams and fulfill their purpose. Because, you know, there are so many people that still are walking around and saying, like, what is my purpose? What should right. I do? How do I get to, you know what I mean? So the fact that you're you're doing it, you're embracing it, um, mm -hmm. you're helping others to embrace it, you even encouraging mommy. So I know that's going to be, you know, something popping soon. I just love that because I think it's energy. I'm one of those people I feed off of energy. You know, if I feel 
a certain kind of connection. I, I had this, um, this, she's an older woman, but, um, yeah, I feel she's, she's a friend and mm-hmm. she was one of those people that she wouldn't let everyone like hug her or, you know, you know how people like to play in your hair. She, she girl, she did not play mm-hmm. that. And it was because the energy that she would feel from certain people, it was only a select amount of people that she would allow to even, you know, get that close within her vicinity because it's just like, mm your what is it? Your aura. Yeah. 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 I don't, I don't, I'm not feeling that. So don't, don't, oop, don't touch my shoulder. Don't touch my, don't girl, don't <laughs> touch me. <laughs> and so I'm just, I, I, I really understand that a little bit more now because I just feel like, you know, some people when they're down or, uh, the energy is just not there. It does. It transfers to you. And then now you like, Oh, mm-hmm. mm-hmm. whereas if you have someone that, you know, just effervescent and, you know, able to charge you, you know what I mean? Um, right. and, it, and it inspires you. Um, mm-hmm. do you do any, you know, like, I don't know, uh, public speaking or anything like that, because it sounds like you're really a person of service, you know what I mean? Especially within, uh, this community. Do you do anything of that sort as well? Um, not necessarily like a public speaking like event or anything like that, but I think I kind of do it every day working with my clients. Everyone, you know, we all are on our uh, different paths, you know? So sometimes I get people who come in here who, you know, not having a good day or depressed or just down about audition. I've been auditioning, I've been auditioning, I'm not booking, you know, you know, just things like that. So um, I like to um, be as encouraging as possible, um, but keeping it real with people at the same time, you know what I mean? But um, I don't know, I just, sometimes if if I feel like the energy is off, I'll try to do what I can to balance it out, especially if it doesn't go with your audition anyway. It's like now you partying in this audition, you come, you you know, you gotta shake it off. And that's one reason why we do this too, because now for this next hour, you can forget about what you got going on in your real life and just step into this world for a moment. You know what I mean? And sometimes when you're done, you know, it helps, you know, it helps. It's therapeutic. Right. You know what I mean? So a lot, a lot of times I, I'm, I have a lot of therapy sessions in here. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, and I'm sure I'm, I'm, I'm really certain of that because yeah, you do have people, like you said, we're coming from all different walks of life, different paths. And whatever the scene may cause, it might be, because have you ever had somebody that come in and maybe they're, I don't know, too happy, but the scene ca- causes for them to be like, hey girl, your mama just died. So like, mm-hmm. hey, you gotta bring mm-hmm. that down. You gotta bring that down. Like, and I'm like, all right, stop laughing. We gotta get in it. Now yeah. I will say some of my clients might be watching this and say, Shay, no, because you make us laugh. Yeah. <laughs> so sometimes I'm like, okay, 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 okay. Serious. Okay. That's really oh, for real this time. For real this time. Yeah. Talk about what's happening in the scene now. Yeah. You know, that we can kind of get get to it. Yeah. Got it. Are there any special like techniques or any um techniques that you've learned under that are kind of helping you when you're directing others? Well, I like to direct people based on who they are and um their skill level. Gotcha. So, you know, I just kind of everybody's different. So I just kind of go. With, with the flow with with everybody just whatever I can do to make ensure that they have they walk away with a great take gotcha just yeah. to elevate their performance yeah yeah gotcha. yeah because yeah. mm-hmm. yeah, I know um you know there's so many different uh techniques out there but I just was curious yeah. you know with you being on the end of you know just trying to draw that out of you know different people and depending upon you know what it is they're trying to film for um, you know, does technique play a role in that? But I definitely understand, you know, the fact that. Mm-hmm. It, well, I was going to say, like, it just depends. So, like, if we are talking about a scene where, you know, someone might have to get emotional and go there, you know what I mean? Um, you know, I may ask them something personal or something like that. Um, if they don't want to do that, we can just kind of talk about, I'll ask them, like, well, tell me how you think this goes. And I'll sit and listen and talk to them. And I'm just like, okay, now everything you just said to me, how you said it, that's how you need to do this audition. <laughs> just say the words on the script, but I need that energy for the this energy. Moment. Yeah. You know what I mean? So just to get them in the mindset of like what's happening, just so at least that energy is there. Now the words might not be there all the time. Right. You know I mean? But just the the energy and the gist of the scene and telling the story. 
Right. Okay. Got it. Got it. Which is understandable. Yeah. Because like you said, you know, sometimes, and I'm one of those people too. I don't feel like the words are not saying that they don't matter, but they're not as important as making sure the emotion is conveyed or that mm -hmm. connection, because there's nothing like watching a performance and then you just like, okay, is that it? Or should there be more? Or, you know what I mean? Just like, okay, that, that was just flat or, it, you know, where right. where's the the interest where are you drawing me in or you know just different yeah. how do you like feel <laughs> yeah how is it making you feel when you're saying these words so a lot of times I tell actors don't so much I mean you don't have to be off book but sometimes it's great to be off book because you're able to play more because you're not thinking about the words but in the in the in the um case of not being 100% off book you at least know the story you know right. you should, well you should at least know the story so you can convey what it is that you need to convey got it got mm -hmm. it yes yes which is important whether you're right. um you know interacting just with you as the acting coach or once you actually get there because i feel like a lot of the times that same um you know scenario when you're if you're not able to do that in that session, how are you going to bring that to, you know, right. the actual tape or the actual performance or the, you know, cause some people you're like, wait a minute, that was you, you, you did that. And now you're giving me, oh, okay. So yeah. Cause I, listen, and then you see the same people when you're out and about with these, do you feel that way? I'm, I'll ask you that because I feel like I see the same and, and it's just kind of like, I guess, you know, you might see people that are similar to yourself or like the same people that you're seeing when you're going out on these auditions, at least when we're going out in, you know, two uh, different castings, you know, it might be a little different since you're doing more at home, do you feel, or more um, self -tape. Well, I, I, I see who comes to tape, you yeah. know what I mean? Um, so certain, I, and I tell a lot of people too, like, if you're getting the auditions, you you know you you won the room so be happy you got the audition first of all because I'm like look be happy you got it because I didn't get this audition I, thought, I wish I did yeah. I don't have it myself right. you know what I mean so I think some casting directors I mean well I can't speak for casting directors but from what I've been seeing self taping people is sometimes I see like the same people are coming in for the same casting director so I'm like well they obviously rocking with you so you're doing right. something right you know what I mean. So stay true to who you are, what you're doing, and let that confidence be there because they obviously, they're rooting for you in, in right. some way, shape, or form if they're going to send it to you, you know? Well, and to kind of go back to what you kind of talked about before when you said, like, you know, uh, Tyler Perry is um, one of those people that I see, like, you know, he's one of those uh, directors that use, like, some of the same actors on different projects. And it's like, yeah, okay, he, he messed with them or he's definitely showing love. Um, how was your experience? Did you um, get to interact with him any when you were a part of um, his production, or like how did that go for you? Yeah, um, it was it's crazy because the very first time, like I said, I, it was my very first. I worked with him four times, well three oh, times. Okay. Yeah, but the very very first time, um, like I said, it was the theater that got me through because when I got on set. He literally changed my whole scene, the lines, everything. Okay. And that was like my very first onset. I didn't want to say it out loud, but <laughs> in my head, I'm like, it's my first time. <laughs> but, I'm a professional, so I'm going to keep On the it. outside, I'm like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but on the inside, I'm like, what is he talking about? <laughs> I have no idea what this man is talking about right now. But um, I did, I was in a scene with, um, uh, Crystal, a girl, a lady named Crystal, and also Tasha Smith. Uh -huh. And so I was a little intimidated at first, but then I was like, no, forget that. Whatever, I'm supposed to be here. Yes. He switched my lines up. I was like, oh, wait, hold up. <laughs> <laughs> so I just kind of improv that whole scene, and that's actually the scene that he kept that ended up being on TV. <laughs> See, look at that. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> To, to touch on that a little bit, because I just think that it's so inspirational, right? You were thrown a curveball, but you didn't panic. Right. Um, you stayed not, 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 uh, out, out outward anyway. <laughs> you didn't let it show. Right. right. <laughs> you didn't let it show. What, are some, what is some advice that you would give someone that was presented that same, you know, kind of scenario or situation where it's like, hey, I've, I've rehearsed this. I know I got it. But then the director was like, oh, here you go. And then they're like, Okay. <laughs> well, this is the thing. If, 
Yeah, if you rehearsed it and you know you got it, you should be good. So you, you it's just really the confidence. And, you know, sometimes as actors, like they say, we got to, we be in our head a lot. You know what I'm saying? So it's just kind of like, let all that go. Because I know I could overthink a, a, a situation like crazy. So, but sometimes you have to just be like, okay, boom, let it be what it is. He just changed all your lines up. Did you hear everything he said? No, because I was like, oh my God, this is Tyler Perry. Right. <laughs> Hello. Wait, wait, I didn't hear nothing he just said. So he's like, okay, we're going to take it back and do it again. I'm like, ooh. So I just kind of just did what I would know to do. And so it goes with trusting yourself, trusting yourself, believing in yourself and having that confidence just to say, hey, look, well, I'm about to just go out here and do what he do and have fun right. and, and, and commit to it. Commit to whatever you're doing. Don't look like you don't know what's happening or what's going on. Look like that's exactly what you're supposed to be doing. Right. Exactly. And I like what you kind of said earlier. It's like, hey, I got this. And this is Tyler Perry. In front of me. Whether it's Tyler Perry or any other uh, director, you just want to make sure that you know, you're being as professional as you can. And that mm -hmm. you're sticking to what you know. Hey, I'm here for a reason. So I love that. Like you said, just showing that that confidence. So not only having it in the inside, but letting that exude outside. Because I'm like, that. look, that's why you were able to work with him again and again. Because I'm sure he saw that as a director. Like, whoa, okay, this girl, she look, she ain't let me throw her off her game. So now I'm going to bring her back for something else. Or we're going to, you know, I'm going to continue to work with her. Which I'm sure that's a logic that a lot of directors would apply to Definitely. anyone in that, you know, in that scenario. So that's just a, a whole learning experience in itself, which which I think is very dope. And I, I commend you on a podcast, because girl, listen, I'm still trying to get that TP. It, 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 <laughs> hello, hello. <laughs> I'm still trying to, something, you can do something. You got so many productions going on. Oh my God. Oh, listen, just to be, look, I, whatever, it don't matter. I'm there. You got me. Okay, remember. <laughs> But um, listen, I just want to ask you, um, because this is something that I try to ask my guests, you know, our our podcast or my podcast, who is our, like, I got personality too, I guess. <laughs> I'm like, our, who is our girl? Listen, no. nobody. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, uh, one of the things I like to ask my guests is because, you know, the name of the podcast is Sonoria's Best Kept Secret. And of course, these are, um, you know, just any jewels or any, you know, thoughts that you may be able to leave with people that are maybe interested in getting into this entertainment industry um, that you utilize that are just, you know, something that you feel like, you know, we're now going to let the cat out the bag on anything, any thoughts behind that? You know what? I don't, I don't think there's like a secret to this thing. You okay. know what I mean? The, mm -hmm. the thing is, is really training studying like you know we call it the you know the gym working out you know what i mean so it's like you you're not gonna get that six pack or that flat stomach if you don't do no crunches you know you gotta work out and eat right you know what i mean so same thing with this acting thing like if you're not taking classes if you're not uh reading scripts or uh at least learning how to audition or just learning anything about the business oh another thing i would say i know i just jumped ahead but no you're fine listen learn, I'm, yeah, we are, it's okay that's what we're here for we're gonna get it together <laughs> learn the business of acting because people just you know think it's just put me on tv but there's a lot that goes with it there's a lot that goes on behind the scenes there's you know, it's paperwork. Uh, there's, you know, if if you're SAG and rules and, you know, regulations and all this kind of stuff. So learn the business of acting. Learn what it is in on the business side of becoming an actor because you are your business. You are your brand. So it's just not like, you know, shopping yourself as this artist, but also as a business person too. You know, you, you, you can have an agent and a manager, you know, a team that vouches for you and, you know, it, you know, it's helping your career and everything, but you need to know these things too. So I think everyone needs to educate themselves on the business of acting. That is very, very, very important. You see all the glitz and the glamours and the red carpet and the, all the followers and the blue check marks, but <laughs> you need to know the business of acting, people are handling business and taking care of their business. So you have to know the business of acting too. Exactly, exactly. Let me ask you this. What do you think, um, well, I guess you kind of mentioned it um, because I was going to say, what do you think is a misconception about this Hollywood 
uh, you know, persona or this Hollywood world. Um, for me, it was the fact that, like you said, things are, people kind of think things are just so easy or, or simple. It doesn't mean that because there's a lot of time, a lot of energy, a lot of people that put so much into these different uh, productions that it's not just about, oh, I'm just such and such is showing up and so glamorous because you don't know what went into all of that to get that person to that point. So what is a misconception within this industry to you? Well, I mean, you really just said it. You know, there's, there's a lot of work that goes on. And, you know, people are like, you know, Shay, you booking, you booking, you know, you doing this, you and this show, that blah, blah, blah. One, I've been doing it for a long time. Two, I, I was studying in school and classes for years before I even got an agent, you know. And nowadays you have people who have an agent and they're getting these auditions and they never even in, in studied or anything. You know, they might mm -hmm. have a look or got some nice headshots and just got picked, which is, hey, fine. But at the same time, if you want the longevity in the career, you got to do the work. And so I think people don't understand that there is a work to be work. done. So, mm -hmm. you you know, when you get these, you know, nice checks and go on all these lavish vacations and stuff. You, you <laughs> they work hard, hard for them. They work so hard. Yes. yes. I think you know, you be on set for 12, 14 hours, you yes. know, sitting there really the majority of the time. Yeah. Like, Lord, this is, you know what I mean? But, you know, you get on set, you know, there's a lot of work. There's a lot of stuff that you have to pay attention to, be aware of, at the same time, still being in character, doing your lines and just living your normal, regular life as well. You know what I mean? So it's a lot that goes on into in, into it. Right, exactly. And that's very well said. I, I, and I like I said, I do, I think that a lot of people, they do, they look at it and they're like, oh, because well, now even uh, if I'm not mistaken, Atlanta is known like as like the black Hollywood, right? Like there's so much going on. <laughs> That's what they're saying, child. We need to get some Hollywood uh, roles down in Atlanta, too. You know, they casting those big roles out of L.A., New York, you know, and they film it, you know, down here or whatever. But I'm like, come on, we we, we got talent down here, too. A lot of us know what we're doing down here. We take it seriously. So, you know, there's a lot of people down here, like we said, who, you know, don't understand that the work, there's work to go into it. So step, step up your game. Get some professional headshots. You know what I mean? Get a professional reel. I edit reels as well. If anybody need a reel, how at me. I'm gonna put it. Together. I know that's right. <laughs> listen, we have to we have to get in where we fit in. So listen, whatever you can, and that's what I love too about this is like I'm 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 ready to support anybody's hustle, right? Because I know being in the entertainment industry, no matter what you're doing, directors, producers, actors, whatever you're doing, it's all still a hustle because you might have a project today, but it might be a a long tomorrow. Before you, get to that you know, you know yeah, yeah. before you get to that next project so yeah. i've had so many people that are telling me like you know they do they start their own businesses whether it's you know i'm going to be a fitness coach for those that want to stay in shape so that when they do get that next role they look good for the role mm -hmm. or you have people that are actress but they also do makeup or they're doing hair, whatever they can do to get themselves and stay within in that realm but at the same time we have to live. We have to sustain. So I definitely, <laughs> I definitely understand. So girl, plug away. Plug, 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 plug away. Well, and I will also tell artists too, um, to also like have a hobby, like do something outside of acting that also brings you joy. Because um, like we said, you can go years without booking another role or working or being on set. And a lot of times it can really mess with you. You know, it can mess with your mind a little bit, you know. So I would tell like my my clients and stuff, I'm like, do something else. Like, yeah. do you yeah. like bowling? Go bowling, you know, <laughs> join the bowling, right. bowling league. Exactly. You know, just something that, you know, you can like I, I go to this boxing class, which I love it, you know, it's get me a little shape a little bit but it right. also takes my mind off of everything else you know what I mean movement. it's movement yeah. so anything that keeps you moving and keeps those endorphins pumping you know right. that you, so that you're ready for like you said that next that next I don't know issue or that next um you know conquering you might have you might have another casting that comes up and you're like okay this one might be a little more difficult but as long as you're keeping your body moving your mind moving you know keeping your spirits up however you can um, yeah, so I definitely, yeah, I think that's, you know, find a hobby, 
What about yourself? What are some of your hobbies outside of the boxing? Do you have any other um, hobbies? Um, sleeping. <laughs> no. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> <laughs> no, I really, I really like the self taping and the coaching because, like you said, it does it keeps me, you know, kind of in it a little bit, and it's almost like a class for me. So every time I'm working with an actor, you know, I'm seeing different scripts all day, and you know, so it's also helping me learn how to, you know, uh, break down the script. Like this, you know, and and work with my client and and, and talk it through. But it, you know, it, it also makes me stronger um, as well. You know what I mean? So I could put put those together. So I, at least I get to do that in the meantime, in between gigs, you know, that sort of thing. But just finding something that you know, if you find something outside of the industry that you can just use to take your mind off of it. But like I said, boxing, you know, people work out. Um, People, you know, like I said, work jobs or, you know, whatever. But you got to just do something that you're just not solely um, putting all your chips in for this acting thing because it is very fickle. And you just, you never know. You never you know. Never know. You so never know. It'll drive you crazy because, you know, we were just talking about getting, you know, 99 no's and that one yes. And then yeah. another 99 no's. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So it's like, you just... Kind of keep at it, but you need something that's going to keep your your spirits up, or otherwise you will go crazy in this. You will go cuckoo, yes. <laughs> that is true, and that's why I think the um support of you know your friends, your family, mm -hmm. your loved ones, and even fellow um artists are important because yeah. we kind of know what each other go through on a day to day or a week to week or you know whatever. Hey man, I didn't get this one, but you know, and sometimes it does. It plays on your mm -hmm. psyche sometimes. So I think it's important to have that community. You know yeah. what I mean? That embraces you and lets you know, hey, it's okay, but we're going to keep it moving because Shay, we going to the club tonight or we're going to go get the mimosas tomorrow or whatever. <laughs> I'll know. be there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Just to yeah. keep it moving. Just to keep it moving. Yeah. Um, yeah. Let me ask you this. Have you ever tried to, because I know, you know, you're in Atlanta, you're doing your thing. Have you tried to branch out to any other regions such as LA or um, what is it? They even say um, New Orleans now, you know, um, is doing, I want to say New Orleans, but Louisiana is another mm -hmm. Uh, hot spot right now. Have you ever tried to branch out? Well, the um the agency that I'm with, Gil Talent Agency, which I love Gil Talent. Um, I've been with them since like I'm sorry, you said ill, like ill, Gil, Gil, like G I L M. Oh, Gil, Gil. Gil. Okay, okay. <laughs> Gil Talent. Um, but they're in uh Atlanta, New York, Chicago, and L A. So okay. we get breakdowns from um you know all of those different regions. Gotcha. Okay. That's what's up. Yes. Keep yourself busy. Well, I know we're going to see great things from you. Um, I definitely appreciate you taking the time out of this busy schedule of yours to speak with me this evening. And I just want you to, um, you know, let the people know where they're able to find you, you know, follow you, holler at you, all that good stuff. <laughs> well, you can holler at me. No, I'm playing. Um, <laughs> single ready to mingle. No. Uh, <laughs> Well, he started my DMs before. I'm like, whoa, no, 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 no. no. Girl, listen, before, okay, well, before you answer that, because you said DMs. Oh, my God. I, I clearly have on a ring, and I think I wear it most of the time or majority of the time, because if I don't, he like, wait a minute, you ain't put that on today. And I'm like, oh, darn, it's just, listen, I'm right here, just slipping on. Because sometimes, you know, I'm home, and I really don't, I'm not really out, so sometimes I might not put it on, but I'm like, okay, let me make sure. But these men don't care, do they? They don't see it. Yeah. So I like, know, are you happy? happy? And he'd be like, what? <laughs> well, if you got a man, why he not out here pumping your gas? Like, yeah. oh my God, what you get out of here? Girl, oh my God. But I know your DM stay jumping because listen, you already was talking about that thickness. You know, they <laughs> like the thickness. Hey, come on, man. <laughs> Uh, my my deals is dry. It's real dry. Hey, no, I, don't I, don't mean. That. I don't believe that. <laughs> my deals is dry. But no, you can find me on um Instagram, audition with Shay Mac dot official. There's another page floating around, but I got locked out of that page. I can't get in it. So uh -huh. if you see dot official, that's me. Okay. I can respond to that one. If you send the DMs to the other one, I'm not seeing it. I'm not That's why all that. That's why all the DMs. <laughs> they might be over there, but I can't see it. <laughs> and I'm uh, Shay Mac on Facebook. And okay. uh, audition with Shay Mac on TikTok. TikTok, girl, that's something I can't get down yet. Like, 
I don't know what. Look, we'll talk about that another time. But that TikTok, <laughs> listen, I'm trying to keep up with all this stuff, and it's like, goodness, what do I do now? Right. <laughs> oh yeah. I just do the bare minimal. I can't. Because <laughs> you have to stay active on everything, yeah. or at least try to. You know, I think me myself, it's like really for me, Facebook, which everybody's telling me now, like nobody ain't on Facebook. I'm like, well, I'm on Facebook and. Uh, <laughs> And Instagram, um, yeah. I really am very much active, but everything else is just kind of like, hey, I might get to it when I get to it. Maybe, yeah. listen, let's talk about that just really quickly before I let you go. I know you let everybody know where they can find you, but before I let you go, what do you think about that as far as tying into all the social media into, you know, the purposes of your, your craft? Like, you know, putting yourself out there. Honestly, I don't know. I feel like if I didn't have a business, I probably wouldn't be on as much, but um, it is a great tool platform to just get out there. So I, I have like clients from all over because, you know, uh, sometimes when people are in town filming, they know they could come tape with me or I also do Zoom, Zoom sessions, okay. you know, like that, you know, that sort of thing. So I mean, social media definitely opens up those doors for, for people everywhere, all over. So I do try to, you know, keep up with that. And then also, you know, to let everybody know how how your business is going, uh, you know, what I'm doing. Like, I like to post with my art, well, artist, with my uh, client's book, which I'd be so like, happy when they'd be like, Shay, oh, I'm That's encouraging. Like, yes, I'm sure. That's very I encouraging. I love it. I love it so much. So, um, you know, just posting that and shouting them out, you know, that sort of thing. So it's cool, you know, for that. And, you know, but like I said, if I, if it was, if I didn't, it, um, it wouldn't be, it wouldn't be going on. <laughs> Yeah. because it is it definitely can be time consuming but you know and i see like people who do like all the skits and stuff like that that's a lot of work yeah like people don't probably think about this even if it's like a one minute skit but sometimes it takes hours to do that one minute skit and if you yeah. see somebody posting skit after skit after skit so baby, yeah ex exactly that's so true so, and, and then i see it. that's why i was saying even yourself I love the one and I, when you were doing like, okay, who 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 does the audition for the auditioner? Like oh, yeah. you were in front of the camera, then you were behind, you know? So I love that. I was like, yeah, because it's true. It's like, well, who the hell going to take me? You know, now that <laughs> you know, right. I do it myself. Let me get this done. But I love that. I love the creativity. So it's always fun to, to see it. Yes. Well, um, again, listen, it's been a pleasure speaking with you. I'm glad we were finally able to connect. Um, yeah. You guys know where to find Shay. Um, again, Shay Mack is on Instagram, Facebook, sometimes TikTok. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but she's around. Make sure you guys check her out. And again, don't forget to like, share, comment, follow, subscribe. Sonoria's Best Kept Secret Podcast. And we'll see you guys next time. Have a good one. Bye. <laughs>